So I think next, before I start this event, it's time to roll. Because I did want Karen to eventually come to my Caldea, so I think it's time to um, change the name of the stream. Make sure I spell words correctly. Did I put the N in? I think I put the N in the wrong place. There we go. And let's start the rolls. Um, I don't know how deep I'll go, however deep my pockets go, I guess. <laughs> kid, I kid. But I do also want the CEs, because uh, not having the CEs in the last event really hurt. Wow, that was... Surprise! Four star. Okay. Martha, I'm pretty sure you're already MP5 in my Caldea, so... I also completely forgot to, uh... I keep forgetting to empty out my CDs. I'm gonna fill up on those, aren't I? I'm totally gonna be full up on CDs. I... I'm gonna need to do some CE burning and up before I, you know, claim any valentines, I think. I'm gonna need to do that. But I'm gonna let this first roll go by, this first love and spin roll by on its natural course. Just to see if, you know, letting it take its course. Lancer. A Valkyrie! Okay. I'll gladly take another Valkyrie. Portland is best girl of the Valks, so you know. I tapped. Damn it, my finger slipped and I tapped. Nessa. Cool. I set my phone down and then I accidentally pressed my phone. Uh <sighs> But hey, I got another Valk. I'm happy with that. But next ticket gets us... Sarvanto... Assassin... Serenity... And now we start tapping through these, because... I do want to at least get to the bitter chocolate thing that I was told about. So, yeah. Servant is... Assassin, no sparkles, gold. I don't know when the last time I got rainbow was. Berserker, cat, I'm pretty sure cat is NP5. And then Gander. Come on, give me an event CE. Event CE! Another Servant, okay. Um, another Zerker. Zerker Adelante, okay. I think that's probably MP2 of her. One strike. Come on. Record holder, come on, game! Give me a freaking event seat. Oh, it was Zhang Ki, was the assassin that we skipped over. Oh well. She's kind of forgettable. Even in the Chinese Lost Belt, she was forgettable. Which is kind of sad, not gonna lie. It's kind of sad that even in the Chinese Lost Belt, she was completely forgettable. Alright, so this is the third 11 spin. Or Karen. Still nothing from the event has been gained. There we go, Bitter Jewel. Alright, I'll go take a Bitter Jewel. Say Ramis. Yes. She failed to kill the Mothman. I 
I think she infected him with a computer virus when he was still in computer form or something. And she failed at it. Oh, we also, we got the, we got Bitter Jewel. Sublime and delicious, a faint warmth can be felt from within the cool box. You can open it as well. The key is in your hands. Of course, a greater puzzle may await you once it is unsealed. A mysterious empress awaits your choice with a regal smile. And then we also get Dear Friend, Media and Adelante. One gives chocolate on Valentine's Day, and not necessarily only to lovers. To my dear friend, though we may look different after all these years, I will always cherish the time we spend together. Aww. That's nice. Media really needs some more um, screen time, rather than just Media Lily. Media needs some screen time as well, I think. Mealter, yeah. I mean, Mealter has kind of become the basic Adelante in Caldea. Like, I don't think basic Adelante has had a single appearance since Mia Alter. Neon Altar was introduced, so... Yeah. It's kind of sad how sometimes the older variants of the servants get sort of pushed to the side when new ones come along. Like Nobu, for example. Basic Nobu disappeared as soon as Avenger Nobu started being used all around. The classic Nobu sprites have not been seen in many a year. Sad. I still have not yet gotten the 5-star CE, nor Karen, and this is the 5th 11 spin. Another Bitter Jewel. Gold! Assassin. Carmilla. Okay. I mean, white hair, sadistic. We're closer, I think. Another gold. Archer. Tomoe, again with again with the white hair. Okay, they're they're really giving me a lot of white hairs. Which is fine. I, I like white hair. When it's youthful white hair at least. This is number six. The hawk suffers due to Carmella. You're gonna go shower this difficult to watch? Difficult because I'm not getting what I want, or difficult because I'm getting so much marked. Necromancy. Finally! Hearts of Cooking! Huzzah! I got the Abby, Ilya, and Lily C. I'm happy. I got two of it! I'm very happy now. It's a sweet CD, too. It is adorable. Pancakes. Pancakes as fluffy as clouds, dressed up with fruit and honey as sweet as dreams. I hope I can pay back some of the happiness you've been giving me. But the time I've spent with you has been so exhilarating and so sweet that I don't think I'll ever be able to. That just means I'll have to stick with you for the rest of your life. Isn't that what you want, Master? No, that's Lily. That's Lily. That's she who shall not be named's daughter. J6, weren't you paying attention during that event? That is she who shall not be named's daughter, and I do not hold the sins of the daughter against... or the sins of the parent against the daughter. So yes, I look forward to seeing more of Lily. Eventually. So seeing someone get multi... Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Another heart of cooking. This is our 7th 10 spin, or 11 spin, by the way. I'm not gonna hit Pity, I know that much. Just because I do not have the resources to go until I get Pity. And if I don't get Karen, then that's yeah, fine. I've gotten plenty of the CEs from this event, so I don't think I will have too much trouble with actually doing the event. Number 8 is Tofu. Is that an omen? 
an omen of who's to come. Hmm. Is the tofu an omen of her arrival? Or is it an omen of her not arrival? Awakened Will. If you don't get Karen, just ask to see Lasagna's manager. Ooh, a mineral. Ouch. Minerals hurt. A little bit. Gold off the ticket. This is our second ticket that has given me gold. This is the second ticket that gave me something gold. And another cat. of love. More gold sparks. Seba. Suzuku. Suzuka. Suzuku, Suzuka. Same difference. Don't tell her I said that. She probably got me. Crazy cat dragon has many cats. I wish I still had my cats. I do. I do. Cats are awesome, though. Love's Curse. I don't think I have that one. That's new. Okay. Random new 5-star CE. Uh, 40% charge with... That's actually... Not... Terrible? The girl is was weary. Her... Wh her was... The girl was weary. Her was just... To... Her what... Her what was just too great. Her chocolate diet. Her hair length. Her bank account. We're missing a very key word here. She had given up. She knew that there was nothing else to strive for in the current age. But the girl knew something. She knew she would fall in love. The sky's silver who wields the planet's sacred sword. Someone with dazzling blonde hair. And beautiful eyes like a precious gem. Hurry up, I want to meet him. I want to meet him now. Come on, Saber, my one and only prince. That was the girl's innocent curse of love. It was a curse upon the entire world. Oh, is this, um... Manaka? I think it is. She's like a beast. Or part of a beast. Part of Beast 6. I want to say. I was right about it being Manaka. Yeah, she's like one part of Beast the Sixth or something like that. And Beast the Sixth has like six different parts or something. Do we just get back to back Shinji's? We just get back to back Shinji's on our double. Wow. Back to back Shinji's. I don't know what to say about that. Oh, she's Beast the Sixth Mother. Interesting. Another better duel. Oh, in the eyes of Beast the Sixth. In the eyes of the um, Beast of Revelations form of Beast the Sixth, I'm guessing. And not the um, Umu Beast the Sixth. Gold. Finally, on the 10th 11 spin, we get Amore. Finally, on the 10th 11 spin. Literally the last spin I was going to do. Actually, no, I was going to go to 11. Servant. Servant. Ruler. Ruda. I'm the Divine Spirit Amor, otherwise known as Karen C. Hortensia. I've come to answer to your summons. So this is the famed Caldea. How wonderfully busy it is. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I'm fit to preach love, but we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Alright, we have Amore in Caldea at long last. At long last being, you know, she's been out for a day. So... First things first, I should probably 
NP up here. So the Valks are finally NP2. Sweet. That makes them a very bit bit better for quick farming. Did not mean to press that. Um. Oh, I guess Martha was only NP3. Hmm. Let's try to sacrifice Ayaka just because she finds her annoying for talking to Proto Arthur. Yeah, I've heard a lot about... I've read a fair bit about Manaka, and she does not seem like she's uh, playing with a full deck of cards. Let's just say. But I'm honestly... I could have swore I had Martha at NP5 a while ago. She was like my third four-star servant. Because, um... Saber Lily was the first. Sumanai came second. And then Martha came third. Uh, Zerkad Alante is now in P2. Killed Manaka to protect Ayaka because he didn't like his master's actions. Right, and then didn't, um... Then Proto sort of switched sides and became Ayaka's servant, right? Tomoe is NP3. And I'm pretty sure Suzuka is already NP5, and that's why she's not appearing here. Um, yep, she's NP5. Why is it saying available then? Okay, that's why. So I can burn the rest. I th oh, Carmilla. Why were you so far down, Carmilla? Oh. I I knew Ayaka had Proto as a servant, I just didn't know how. So that's an interesting way to do it. And Cat, I'm pretty sure, is also NP5. If I go down here... Cat, Tamamo... I think she's leveled up. No, Tamamo Cat has not been leveled yet. Wow. That's a bit of a shocker. Where? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Tamamo Cat is already MP5. Okay. So we can burn the remainder of the servants. Not summon. I've done enough summoning for now. And three rare prisms from all this. Lovely. I am above the craft essence limit as well, so... Gonna have to do a little bit of maintenance there then. First, let us push... Karen to a second state here. There we go. Get the Shroud of Valentinius to level 2. Invincibility for 3 times for 3 turns. Absorb MP from all allies for 3 turns. And apply Invincible to all allies, excluding yourself, and increase MP gain for yourself. Very selfish skill there, Karen. Very selfish for a goddess of love. Um, I can get away with 1, 2, 3, 4. For limit breaking dear friend here. I cannot get away with limit breaking anything else, however. So let's see. Um real dive. I know I have some there we go. I knew I had some of these sorts of CEs sitting around. I should wait probably until there's a super or great suck increase, but honestly I'm running out of space so I don't really have the time to wait. Um, anything else I can quickly burn here? I really need to go through my inventory and filter things down a little bit. Because I'm a little bit overloaded. Just a little bit, though. There we go. That should be enough. Freed up, like, 40 slots. 
that should be good for now. It should last us through the Valentine's. So, without further ado, I think we should start the event here. Um, I want to at the very least get to the better chocolate whatever thing, so I might be going a little bit beyond my intended two and a half hours, but that's fine. This stream's already going to be split into, like, two or three streams at this rate. Two or three videos, so yeah. Um, section one, from the depths of the abyss. Forming party immediately before the battle begins. And you have a point there, J6. You do have a point. Amor, the preacher of loves. And it skipped a bit too fast. Or it went, it didn't skip too fast, it went too fast. Yeah. At Caldea, you can always tell when Valentine's Day is approaching. By the sweet smell that permeates the air. There's something different about all the servants gathered in the cafeteria, too. They all seem so excited and happy. Ah, uh, Bryn and Sigurd. Aw, Sitanai is trying to pair up Ilya and Kiritsugu. The Jean family. Blackbeard and his friends. Just like Ryan. Karen has a funny version. Ooh, I look forward to seeing that. Does anything seem st about that seem strange to you? No. Strange. It's all happened so naturally I didn't really register it, but now that you mention it, there may have been some servants mingling who don't normally get along with each other. But that's probably just because the celebration only happens once a year, so everyone's very excited about it. Or something. No, I pay plenty of attention, attention you know. Very clearly what happened here is Jalter is under Jean's big sister beam influence again. You know. Blackbeard, Blackbeard has tended to get along with the pirates and Chiyome. Actually, I don't really know about Chiyome. That's actually, I don't think I've seen them interact. Yeah, I cannot place them interacting in my head. Hmm. Yeah, I honestly don't know if they've ever interacted. Plus, you know, uh, based on that uh, summer camp event, we know that, um, we know what Bryn and Sigurd get up to. You know, so, I, seeing them together is perfectly reasonable. You know, perfectly reasonable. Hmm, I'm not so sure. Hmm? This whole mood doesn't really do it for me. Something about it gives me a kind of a bad feeling. Hey, Gil. Hi, Master. Hello, Mesh. Does all this seem off to you too, Gil? It does feel like the atmosphere's magical energy density is a little higher than usual. But then again, there are lots of magecraft experts here at Keldea, and they don't seem to be too concerned. So it could all just be in my head. High magical energy density? That's odd. She was readings are still within the standard parameters. Good morning, how are you today, Master and Mesh? Oh, and good morning to you too, young Gilgamesh. You're looking clever as ever today. And this works out nicely. Do you three have plans today? Okay, now something is up. Because Helena's not around to keep these two knuckleheads from the uh, butting heads. Is he? I know that Angry Mango is related, is connected to Karen a bit. I didn't really know Kid Gil was, though. Tom. Okay. Yeah. S something something is definitely wrong here. I mean, it's not a bad kind of wrong. These two knuckleheads not butting heads is very nice. It's very nice to not have them arguing, but, you know. Tom and I only meant to get together for light tea, but we just got... We both just got so caught up in our discussion. We certainly did. In fact, we realized we were never going to finish here, and we were just on our way to Nick's room. <laughs> Nick's room. <clears throat> to continue our discussion of... Cross Current! Oh, no. Oh. It's a miracle. It's a Cal It's a Valentine's miracle, everybody. They're getting along. Where we discuss the advantages that both Direct Current and Alternating Current have to offer. Care to join us, Master? Surely you have impassioned thoughts about electricity of your own that you'd love to share. 
Oh. Oh man, this is great. Maybe some other time, thanks. Now we just need to see Raiko doting on Shuten. Like a daughter. Cause... Oh, that'd be great. <clears throat> I see, well that is a great shame. <laughs> well, now now, Tom, do cheer up. Or am I not enough of a conversationalist to satisfy you? Of course you are, Nick. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Very well then, come along, my good man, and let us talk the day away. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I've seen this in a movie somewhere. Oh. I know what you mean. If we weren't sure something strange was going on before, we certainly are now. Come on, Senpai, let's go to the command room. <laughs> something strange is definitely happening here at Caldea, just like you suspected, Gil. Gotta let Da Vinci know. Hmm. You know, I'm not sure we should be making more work for her. I mean, even with Edison and Tesla back there. Couldn't it just be that their long and bitter rivalry finally came to an end? I mean, I haven't experienced this myself since I'm not my grown-up version. But I have heard that the more you dislike someone, the better friends you become with them after having a knockdown, down drag-out fight. See, by that logic, Gil, um, your older self and Shiro Emiya would be, like, the best, the best of friends. Which would be hilarious to see. Truly hilarious to see, but, um... I don't think that they really disliked each other, though. I don't think Gil and Enkidu disliked each other. Enkidu was just acting on orders, and Gil was just defending himself. But you know what? That also... It just occurred to me. Gil is speaking anime logic. It is true. Based on the rules of anime, the more you dislike someone and you have an all-out drug-out fight, the better friends you'll be at the end. Anime logic here. Makes sense. Come to think of it, one of your noble phantasms has the power to see through everything, right, Gil? Is that why you had a bad feeling about this? Because you noticed something we couldn't. You mean Sha Nakba Imuru? Unfortunately, it's not working very well. Since you can't be omnip omnipotent when the entire Earth's future has been wiped clean. So this is really more of a hunch. Ooh. Interesting tidbit there about Gil's NB. Anyway, why were you two at the cafeteria anyway? Was there something you wanted to do there? Maybe you were waiting for the right time to give a certain special someone a gift? Just standing here waiting for some chocolate. <clears throat> no, that can wait until later. Right now I think we should investigate the sun spheres. I'm sorry, it was mean of me to ask that. You're right, important things should be saved for the right time and place. Gil's being an excellent wingman here. You shouldn't do it now, right when it seems like something big is about to happen at any mo. So, look oh good, you're there too, Mesh. Sorry to bother you when you're off duty, but I'm afraid we've got something of an emergency here. Do you guys think you could help me out? Of course, actually, we were just on our way to the command room. What's the emergency this time? A singularity? No, it's not that. This abnormality is taking place right inside Caldea. Apparently, we've got Shadow Servants running around the place. Shadow Servants, and they're inside Caldea. Hmm. Da Vinci. Well, the thing is, they definitely look like Shadow Servants. But their existence is so fuzzy, we can't get a firm reading on them. So I was hoping you could go investigate and take care of them directly. Oh, don't worry about coming to the command room. There's no need. So what do you say, Sol? Will you take Mash and go look into this? Sure. Why not? Then I think I'll go to. You don't mind, right, Da Vinci? Oh, hey, Gil. You're there too, huh? No, of course not. That'd be a big help. See, I tried asking other servants around there to help deal with this as well. But for some reason, they all said they already had plans or just didn't feel like it. Really, all of them. Yep, but anyway, there's no point laying into them about it now. Would you guys mind taking a look? Oh gosh, I just wondered. Have Penth and Achilles met up in this scenario? That would be amazing to see a positive interaction between the two. Shadow Servants in Caldea. Maybe this is what your bad feeling was about, Gil. Come on, Senpai, let's go check it out. Away! What the? 
Next, there sure are a lot of them, and they do look like Shadow Servants. It's okay if we take them down, right? Mm, yeah, I guess it is. We still don't know how they got here, but there's no upside to letting them run around doing whatever. So yeah, go ahead and take care of them now, and we'll figure out where they came from later. I couldn't agree more. Well, then, here goes nothing. Gate of... Wait, stop! No Babylon! No Babylon! I'm sure yours wouldn't be as bad as your grown-up selves. We still can't have any have its servants slinging around noble phantasms all willy-nilly in the halls. Hang on, did you just say I'm weaker than the adult me? Ouch. I know I'm a kid, but my noble phantasm still works fine. I know how to control it, too. Don't worry, I was only going to use it to restrain them anyway. Beating your opponents just by killing them is kind of short-sighted thing. Grown-ups are too... Or too lazy to think of the big picture, do. There, see? I'm just gonna neutralize them one by one. Classy, the legendary king you are. It's working. Guild Chains just captured all five Shadow Servants. Alright, Master, let's go deal with these potentially hostile entity. Look out! Oh, Chiyome! This is more than we realized. I'll handle the Shadow Master, you go help Gil. Huh? What happened, Master? You and Mash are. Oh, are usually more careful than that. You get sloppy because it's a holiday or something. Times like this are exactly when you gotta pay attention to your surroundings. Coo! Come on, thanks you for helping us. Don't bother thanking me, I was just getting warmed up. If anything, I'm sorry I took so long to get here. Didn't realize you guys needed help at first. Anyway, this works out nicely, I was just looking for something to do. Really? I'd say if anyone here is being sloppy it's you, shouldn't you be more on top of things being a grown up and all? Me? Shouldn't you be telling your own grown-up self that, too? Next time you're at a mirror, why don't you pass him a message that he should try to hang out to at least a tenth of the wisdom and modesty you've got as a kid? Ooh! Well, I do agree with that, but unlike you, I'm just as wise no matter what age I am. Yeah, that your way of seeing you've always been this dumb? Ah, oh, but never mind that. This ain't the time to be arguing. Come on, soul. Mash. Mm, right. I'm good to go at any time. Um, so is it... It's Angry Mango, Koo... And technically, Bazette would probably be fairly closely related, wouldn't she? Um, I need to clear the party. And clear the party. And that's a different team yet. Alright, so I need to bring along Ku. Koo, oh Koo, where are you, Koo? He's higher than Bond 5, clearly. Kukalon, Kukalon, Bond 7. And then we bring along Mash. As well. And, well, I would love to do that. It does look like, according to the guide, I want to be bringing around Dear Friend. And then we just throw all the low bond servants at the very back line to not be used. They're just here for the bond points. Oh, I almost forgot to switch mash. Sadly, not summertime mash. It is sadly not summertime right now. Uh, Ortnax refurbished. Ortnax refurbished. Ortnax refurbished. And Ortnax refurbished. There we go. Now we're all geared up and ready to rule. Oh no, look at the health here. So we have Jalter, Jean, and Santa Lily at the start. Blackbeard. And Bonnie Mary Reed. Uh, dun -dun -dun. We'll let Janta live until the end. In honor of Long Janta, Janta shall survive. All hail, Long Janta. 
All hail Long Janta. And Chiyome. I still don't know off the top of my head why exactly um, Chiyome hanging around with Blackbeard is weird, though. Not off the top of my head, at least. If anybody can enlighten me on that, it would be very much appreciated. Um, ba -ba -bum. All right, it's time. Janta, your reign has come to an end. Blackbeard during the shooting event. Oh, that was a while ago. Tyrano Kagekyo is bond to now. We got some master mission progress and a lot of dust. That's a lot of dust. My voice cracked. Not really though. And we'll claim the chaotic thing. And next one. Again, for more party immediately before the battle begins. Ooh, that was a neck pop. Damn it, they just keep regenerating as soon as you cut them down. We'll never get anywhere like this. These things are as tough as Clan Kalatin. We've got to figure out something before they can destroy all of Caldea. Excuse me, Command Room. Is there any way we can get rid of these things for good? Sorry, wish I could tell you, but we're still analyzing these things. We've never seen anything like them. All we know so far is they don't have spirit cores, their spirit origins disperse, and your attacks makes, their, makes them disappear. The only thing that is, they're not staying that way. Man, I wonder why they keep coming back. She's really enjoying this, isn't she? Whose idea was it to put her in charge anyway? I think it's great that we've got someone so enthusiastic about her job backing us up. In the meantime, we'll just have to do our best we can to wrap things up here. Hang on, there's someone there. I just got some major chills down my spine. Well, while your senses are quite refined, I wish my assistants had that kind of sensitivity. Also, Eris, act Eris has some interactions with Karen, doesn't she? Karen is Eris's teacher. Or something? That just occurred to me as a memory connection thing. Never actually felt chills like this before. No, wait, it's actually kind of familiar. Buon giorno. Don't worry. I mean you no harm. Let me to explain why these things refuse to take on. They're not actually a shadow servants. Who are you? There is no point in using violence against those born in the depths of darkness. No, there is only no the only there is only one way to truly make them disappear. Hm? Only one way, huh? That's pretty bold, even for me. But I'm not embarrassed at all, since it's the unvarnished truth. You see, the only way to get rid of them is something that is the utmost importance to all humans. Love. Nothing more, nothing less. Love. Did she really say love? You're not very sensitive at all, are you? Are you sure you're the ultimate Celtic ladies' man? Or Celtic? The very same who jumped into bed with every beautiful woman he met on his travels, even after he gave his true love a castle. Oh, just saying it out loud irritates me all over again. Are you really just that selfish, or does your little spear actually have a mind of okay? The burns begin already. You better apologize to Ify the next time you see her. I know, I know, it was all my fault, okay? Now would you mind help keeping your nose out of my business? <laughs> that was the hell of a way to talk to someone you just met. I only got the broad strokes, but those were some lovely thoughts. You pass, I officially recognize you as a master worthy of being hoisted into the air. Hello and good day. Your fortune this morning is five out of five stars. Your romantic outlook for today is to prepare for unexpected encounters. Put another way, trust the goddess before you rather than the person next to you. That's right, I've designed, I've deigned to descend from on high to raise your fortune. I suppose I should have known they wouldn't be polite enough to let me finish. Oh well. I usually make it a point to never provide help without an explicit agreement, but in this case I suppose I could consider it part of my sales pitch. Feel free to command me as you see fit, Master. This is your chance to test your power as a master and my, the power of my love to your heart's content. Hm? Did she just form a temporary contract with you, Master? Let's get to work. Let's get down to business to defeat the shadows. 
All supports. Okay, that eases things. Um, right, this is the Mystic Code I'm working on. I'm getting close to 10 10 10 all Mystic Codes, everybody. Getting closer and closer still. Only a handful left. <laughs> Elbow pop. Let me show you the power of love. Ooh, full MP. Right off the bat. Mark of Malice to increase the damage out. I'm gonna save that NP for in the end. So we already know what Shroud of Valentinus is. I did indeed. On my final spin. I got so many other servants as well. So many others. Uh, so Golden Arrow is a target focus, increased gauge, decreased charge, and increased attack and defense for all enemies. That's not bad. Mana Burst Love is a three turn Omni Boost with a single target. Oh, that's an MP gauge. Ooh. Karen is very um, focused on getting her MPs off, it seems. I honestly have no idea how good of a servant Karen is. I mainly want her just because I know she's going to be an anti Kieran servant. You got maximum break of the daughter CE with the back three back to back eleven in a row. Nice. I sadly did not maximum break the daughter CE, but um, I got a fair bit of them. I got a fair bit of them. And you got MP2 Karen. Nice. But yeah, I got a lot of extra servants visiting my Caldea. Uh, let's do a gill splash here. Well, you didn't roll, though, J6. Exactly. You did not roll, because you are saving for, um... You're saving for Lost Belt 6, I think. Although, curiosity, J6. Um, if we get summer before Lost Belt. Are you going to be rolling for summer at all? Uh, that's not needed. And that's not... Actually, you know what? We will do this. Hey, Ouroboros! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream! How be things? How be things? You're saving for the banner because it has one of your favorite servants. You plan on rolling for summer comma? Same here. Same here, Draconic. I think I'm act. It depends on what the banner layout is. No, wait, no, it doesn't. I know I'm rolling on all the banners. What am I saying? She became an egg and an angel. That's honestly a pretty cool NP. Not gonna lie, that NP was pretty cool looking. But, um, I don't think I'm going to be rolling for anybody else until around, um, Summer and Lost Belt 6. Even though I don't know what Lost Belt 6 is, I've been told, hey, you should roll on Lost Belt 6. Alright, let me show you what I was talking about. Just sit back and enjoy the show. This is the light of love that banishes darkness. The light of love that will fill the entire world. God Bazooka. Die. <laughs> God Bazooka. God Bazooka. That's... That's something. I'm not going for Mrs. Crane. I know that much. Whew. Was it good for you, too? Did you just tell them to die? Who, me? Don't be silly. Also, that was clearly a Bazooka Blast. Where did love come into it? That said, the uh, non Shadow Servants you do seem to have disappeared now. She's bad news, isn't she? <laughs> Conveyed again. Uh, oh, yes, very bad news. <laughs> Via subtle winks. Oh, communication through winking. Hey, kid, she's a friend of yours, right? So go on, get her out of here already, and make sure she never comes back. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, this is the first time I've ever seen such a person around, Caldea. If anything, you're the one who seems to recognize her. But, uh, yeah, Draconic, I I do intend to try, and, I mean, it's not really trying, but I do intend to start getting into shape here shortly now that Valentine's season is pretty much almost done, because 
this is like the worst season to try and start a relationship, but um, plan on trying to get in shape and hopefully by summer before I actually start school. Hardcore. Which might make relationships difficult. Yeah. I haven't. Th I didn't really think that through. If I end up going to school five days a week, eight hours a day, relationships is going to be very difficult. Very difficult. Are you sure she's not from your neck of the woods? Maybe you used to date her or something? Now he's being ridiculous. Trust me. Not even the not even the Celts go create go in for crazy. Go in love for for go in for love that. Cr not even the Celts go in for love that crazy. That's weird. Crazy. That's a weird sentence structure. No, I've never seen her before either. She looks vaguely familiar, but that's all. Besides, no way I could forget such an evil face. But you see, I'm sure she remembers you, even if you don't remember her. Slap. <laughs> oh, Karen, slapping them both. Quiet, both of you. When did you two become such whiny little mongrels, anyways? Mongrels. Careless lures lead to disaster, and vague memories lead to confusion. So if you're ever unsure whether you should say something, here's a very easy rule of thumb. Don't. Back of the hand, of course. So I appreciated you helping us out here, but you're not a Chaldean servant, are you? Who in the world are you, anyway? Me. My name is Amor, the god of love. I'm a beauty, dainty, divine, beautiful, dainty, divine spirit, where you... Where what you see is what you get. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Amor, the god of love. What we see is what we get. Beautiful and dainty. I don't trust this goddess one bit. I don't know, I, I like the white... So far, Karen is... Uh, you know, I cannot rank Karen yet. Also, that does remind me, I do need to make a thumbnail for the waifu rankings if I want to put that on Valentine's Day. Because I have decided I am going to put that out on Valentine's Day. I just need to make a good thumbnail for it. So one quartz and one strawberry and blueberry lock on chocolates. Woo! Section 2, the woman named Karen. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I can get this bitter quest thing done, I'm probably going to be calling stream, I will say. Let's try this again with a more proper introduction, shall we? I'm Amor, the god of love. Of course, it would be usually be impossible to summon a divine spirit like myself as a familiar. So as you can see, I have materialized as a pseudo-servant using this stunningly beautiful girl as a vessel. Amor, as in the god of love from Roman mythology. Then you know about this god, da Vinci? I sure do. First, putting aside the fact that everything I'm about to tell you is straight out of myth, Amor originally comes from the ancient from ancient Greece. The ancient Greeks believed that a number of primal gods were born at the same time the world was created, and one of them was Eros, the god of erotic love. But then, as the mythology was developed further, Eros was eventually re effectively reinterpreted as Aphrodite's son. As more time passed and the Roman incorporated Greek mythology into its own, Eros and Amor, the Roman god of love, were eventually conflated. Suffice to say, Amor's got a lot of history, even for a god. Speaking of which, Amor actually has yet another name, too. One that I'm pretty sure you've all heard before. Keep it. You know the adorable little cherub who carries arrows of love, much like Arbus? Cupid. Yes, I'm sure you all do know me as Cupid, the cherub of love. But that doesn't matter right now. The spirit core that makes me may be Amor, but as far as I'm concerned, the only one I consider to be the lord of the heavens is God the Father. So, really, I'd rather you didn't call me Amor or Cupid. I'm not a Greek god of love, but rather an agent of the Holy Spirit. A missionary of love, if you will. So, okay, so white hair. Religious. Okay, okay. She, she's ticking some boxes here. Just saying. So please call me Karen, C, for Cupid, Hortensia. Hmm, God the Father, huh? That makes it sound like you're affiliated with the Holy Church. And that would mean your current sense of self comes from your vessel, rather than from Amor. I see, so you're a pseudo-servant who's entrusted their power to their human vessel's personality. Hmm, given that most people who get chosen as vessels for gods tend to not be exactly, well, normal, I wonder where you'll fall on that spectrum. Okay, she just called out 
Sakura and Rin with that. And Luvia. More so Rin, though. Alright, that's enough fan service, so I'm going to go back to my regular outfit now. I like that outfit, too. Oh, your outfit is beautiful. Are you a student? Are you a student to more? Mm. Karen? Your clothes are very chic, of course, but I especially love your hat. It's so cute and elegant. No, I'm not a student, per se. This is just the new outfit I had made up for this occasion. I'm glad to hear you like it, though. Collecting hats is one of my few hobbies. Your few hobbies. Thank you, Mashiri. May I give you an arrow of love as a token of my appreciation? That's all right. Thank you. Taiga? Fair. Taiga is also pretty nuts. But, you know, that's not really an insult for Taiga. Also, it's Mash, not Mashiri. Oh, I see. How very selfless of you. It's too bad you won't take a treat when it's offered. For one thing, it's so much more boring. All right. What if I played you a song on my organ, then? Perhaps Box Cantata BWV 147 in honor of getting to know one another. It's one of the few things I'm proud of. Only a few, huh? So she is a um, piano player. She collects hats. She's a member of the church. Okay. <laughs> Slapping them both upside the head. She's very, um... Aggressive. What was that for? Part of me, I sense you two are slandering me for no good reason. As for you, I've noticed you have it so much as better than I anything I've said or done since I've arrived. You must be either extremely important or just some extremely easygoing. Which means you must be Sol, the Master of Caldea. Right? That's me. <laughs> That'll be another thing worth testing, then. You'll have to forgive me for pressuring you to accept that, um, temporary contract earlier. I was just the means to an end to let me receive orders from you. So, if you ever find our connection to be a burden, please feel free to suffer it at any time. So Melt-esque personality. Um, Karen C. Hortensia. Hmm? Oh, you mean me? Well, that certainly is a lot to say every single time, isn't it? It's okay, you can just call me Karen. Uh, alright. Karen, do you know anything about those not Shadow Servants? Ah, uh, those? Let's see, I think the simplest way to describe them is... Ectoplasm. I see. That looks... That took a bit of a strange turn, didn't it? Let me try that again. Think of them as evil spirits drawn to the wickedness that lies in people's hearts. You could also call it animosity or impurities. I see, I think. Alright, now that we know what they are, why do they suddenly show up here at Caldea? Good question. Unfortunately, I can't think of a simple explanation for that. I expect it probably has something to do with Valentine's Day, though. Especially since I'm here, too. Um, can you elaborate on that? It wasn't Soul that summoned me here. It was this festival of love you called Valentine's Day that called me here temporarily. Valentine's Day is the cause of all this. It was Valentine's Day that birthed those evil spirit creatures. And it was Valentine's Day that summoned me here as a missionary of love. Now do you get it? Nope. Right? I don't even know what the hell you're trying to say. I do wish you would try to make arguments with the foregone conclusions. Oh, blush. I was explaining the reasons I was summoned here. I am a missionary here to save Caldea. I sense the encroaching threat that Valentine's Day posed, which by which by which I mean those evil spirit creatures. So I was sent here in the Lord's name to save you all from that threat. Well, it may not have happened exactly like that, but you understand what I'm saying, yes? Valentine's Day is a threat. I can agree with that. Valentine's Day is a threat. Master, master... There's something very suspicious about the servant. I'm positive she's hiding something. Well, what do you know? Sounds like you and I are on the same page. Alright, so now that we all agree about that, what do we do next? I don't think she's lying. It seems pretty clear that these shadow servants... No, wait, we shouldn't be calling them that since not, that, that's not what they are. You know... In the wise words of Alucard... Bitches love cannons. So, I think if she wants to have a cannon, then she can have a cannon. Mash has a cannon. You know. Let's go with Bitter Shadows instead. That's much more in line with the whole Valentine's Day thing. Anyway, they're pretty tough. Well immortal, really. That makes them really dangerous. 
At least we were able to eliminate the ones you found there with that um, unusual ordinance. I'm pretty sure that was Vich that fired the rocket. But am I right to assume that those Bitter Shadows are going to show up again, Karen? Say it again. Um, say what again? Do you not care for the name Bitter Shadows? Not that. My name. Say it again, please. Okay, Karen. You know, for missionary love, I get the feeling she's kind of star for herself. At any rate, those weren't the last Bitter Shadows, were they? No, they weren't. I suspect they'll keep showing up as long as Valentine's Day festivities continue. Got it. I can't say I'm completely grasped what's going on here just yet, but it's clear that she has the means to fight back against this new threat. Indeed. Well, hell, she basically said she showed up here as the sole purpose for defeating these better shadows. So, could I ask you to work with her for the time being? In the meantime, I'll work on figuring out exactly what the deal is with these better shadows. Oh, and Mash? Yes. Would you mind helping me out up here? I could really use the extra hands. I hate to ask you since I knew you were all enjoying the festivities together, but... Thank you for your concern, Da Vinci, but it's okay. Gil and Koo will go with Master in my place. Wait, what? 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 Mash? <laughs> Wouldn't you know what? I just remembered some urgent business I have to... Ah. Uh, <laughs> just where do you think you're going, Gil? Look, I don't like this any more than you do, but that doesn't mean we can just take off. That little girl is counting us here, so we can't let her down. As servants who've been around much longer than she has, don't you think the manly thing to do is to live up to our expectations? I've never cared one way or another for doing things because they're manly. That seems like a stupid, self being way to approach life. But if Mash needs my help, then I guess I'll just have to step up. Attaboy, you know what? You're a hell of a lot more understanding than your grown-up self. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Just remember that being too understanding can make you indifferent to just about everything. Alright, there you have it. You go ahead and help Da Vinci out in the command room, Missy. We'll watch Master's back. Bitch is indeed an arms dealer. Arms, information, favors, transportation. She's a jack of many things. She's a jack of trades. She trades in many things. Thank you, you two. You know, I know you'll take good care of him. Good luck, Mash. Thank you, Master. Be careful out there. Now then. Since we're all on the same page, there's one more thing I need to tell you. I wish I didn't have to bring this up. Guess it's quite the touchy subject. Really could have fooled me. He looked like he can't wait to tell us. Alright, what is it then? Well, you see, my bazooka requires a very particular type of cartridge. Which means I have to charge a modest usage fee for every shot I fire. It comes to about this much. Are you freaking kidding me? Yikes, that's a lot of QP, and this is me talking. Yeah, uh, I'm fresh out of zeros. I'm so sorry. I can be a little naive when it comes to the world making of the working man, or if you're up struggling to buy food or something. I really thought I had done my homework about what the going rates were these days, too, but I'm afraid that's going to be a problem. We can't defeat the bitters without the bazooka, but I simply won't pay for its cartridges myself. Hmm. Oh, I just had an idea. She's also very shrewd financially. What if we did something like this? Instead of paying me directly to use my bazooka, you could all collect the materials I can exchange for money. <clears throat> I mean, which I can use to make more godly cartridges. What's more, as luck would have it. There's plenty of small bits of magical energy floating around that can't become player shadows. You won't need my bazooka to handle them, and as I say, a penny saved is a penny earned. So I'd like you all to work tirelessly to eliminate those bits, collect the materials, and donate them to me. You don't mind doing that, right? It's all to restore a peace call day after all. Good, then I'll be counting on all of you to keep those donations coming. Yep, Valentine's Day ain't gonna save itself. Yeah, alright, I'm not gonna back down now after coming this far. Something tells me just getting rid of the better shadows isn't gonna be the end of this, though. It can't be a good sign that both our warriors' intuitions are telling us this is a bad idea. She did indeed, didn't she? She did indeed. All right, we got a single god cartridge, another dear friend CE. Also, this is my uh, Xenoblade Chronicles person, I mind talking, but um, yeah, Adelante looks very much like um, Mio there. Just saying. All right, uh, better shadow 
challenge quests unlocked every day for 24 hours only. Chance to get a lot of event points to so challenge them each day. Only available the first days will only be available for 20 hours only. Defeat the enemies and their reinforcements to get a lot of event rewards. But the God Bazooka skill within Bitter Shadow challenge quests, you can expend God cartridges to use the God Bazooka skill. In addition to the master skills associated with your mystic equipment, with your equipped mystic code, God cartridges you use will be expended even if you withdraw from battle. The God cartridges needed to use the God Bazooka skill are available through the event. Points rewards and event item exchange. Um, tap the fart this, use the God Bazooka skill. Use the God Bazooka skill to gain advantage in battle. So, we have 56 minutes left for the first bitter shadow challenge. It is Saber. This is a unique quest where enemies are continuously replenished. The battle will end after three turns after, after three turns, even if all enemies are not defeated. You will receive rewards based on the number of enemies defeated by the end of the battle. Would you like to start the quest? Yes. Okay. So, I don't think it matters what I bring into these, as far as, like, I don't believe they drop me anything. They do not drop me anything, correct? Correct. You have 27 to try and kill. If it's three turns, then I can't get to 27, though. Well, I don't have a points booster, is what I'm trying to say here. So I'm pretty much going into this base stats only. Um, so, anyways, I think it literally does not matter. Okay, you know what? Let's do it like this, then. So, not God Arrow, not God Harp, not God Feather. Uh, we want the God of Love point Cs, then. And nobody has it max limit broken yet. Goomba has it, so we will go ahead and switch over to here. Throw you in the back, and let's get down to business to clear some waves. So, then Gil, Arash can get basic case scope. Gil can get basic case scope. And then Emia. Emia can get the super scope. And then the back lines can contain Karen and Muramasa. And I believe I still have Mash's chocolates from last year in my base inventory. So yeah, let's give this a shot. I'll be able to at least clear these three waves, no issues, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Uh, I will quickly, though, swap over to the Royal Brand, and away we go. Alrighty. This will probably be the last thing I do tonight because I do have an exam tomorrow I need to study for a bit more. <laughs> Alright, let's start things off strong here with an Arash. Arash, delete. Um. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, nobody warned me this was, um... Interesting. Okay, um... This is fine. This will be fine. Probably not, but you know, I've I gotta keep a positive out oh, after all. Alright, so the Kaiju gets three. I will have to plan better for next time. For the next one I'm going to have to plan better, clearly. Oh, 
聞かせをくれてやる Moon Cancers for the next one. Um, I should be fine with Moon Cancers. You know what? Let's do it like. Yeah, let's do it like this. I should be fine with Moon Cancers, probably. Probably. See, I'm trying to think of how is it possible to get all 27. Oh, that's a unfortunate thing. Right there. The god Zuka would do it? Well, that's good to know now. Good to know for next time. Alright, so we got a good 52,000, that's not bad, and a million QP. Okay, and we got a lot of Godzuka cartridges, so I think we'll be able to do it next time for sure. I am going to have to record these, though, now that I think about it, because I want to show off how I do. Yeah, so note to self, record them at a later time. Um, but I do believe that is going to be pretty much where I call tonight's stream here. Yeah, I think this is where I call things. Okay, I like how it already says what has been received. And I cannot afford any of that. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to call tonight's stream here. Hopefully Wednesday I'll be streaming and it will be um, either God of War or Pokemon. Depends on what I feel in the mood for. If I feel aggressive after a test or if I feel chilled after a test. We'll find out by then. For now though, I have been Soul Reactor and I hope you've enjoyed tonight's stream. If you have, leave me some feedback in whichever way you so see fit. If you want to check out more by me, be sure to check out my channel here on Twitch or YouTube. Same name, same games. There is plenty of content for you to enjoy. Um, I will have to put that time in. I know it's not on the uh, schedule thing. I Wednesdays will start becoming regular again. I said it earlier in the stream, but my seven-week course is almost done. Next week is literally the last week of my seven-week ethics course. Medical ethics, to be specific. Quite possibly. But, um, yeah, that's all for me for now, so hope you all enjoyed. Have a fantastic evening, everybody.